Welcome back to Elden Ring. I was looking at the episode where I defeated Star Scourge Radon, and I realized that I completely forgot that a star fell down to the ground and we were supposed to go to the site where it fell. That's, I think, where we're supposed to continue to the city of Nokron. Not back in Siafra Well. So, oops, that's kind of important. I think I would have found it anyway, though, because it's just somewhere in Kaled. So here's the battlefield. I looked at the video and... Well, you couldn't see the exact location where it fell, but basically if you draw a line from where I'm looking right now, like this, it's to the right of that line, or I guess to the above the line. So it's somewhere like up here, this area, which coincidentally is the one that I haven't explored. So yeah, I guess I would have found it anyway, thankfully. I think the last thing we did was the Gowl Cave. So let's continue from the smoldering wall down south. This is kind of an area you've been to before, but I never explored it very thoroughly, so I'll just bring you back when I find something new. We have a beetle. Ash of War Lifesteal Fist. Ooh. I mean, I'm sure it's something I can't use, but that sounds really cool. It sounds like you just, like, stick your fist in their heart and steal some of their life force or something. Oh, there's a side of grace here? That's awfully close to another side of grace. Astray from Kaled, Highway North. Aeonian Swamp Shore. Yeah, look at how close that is. I see a fire down there. Is there a merchant? Have I found you before? Yes, right this way. Right this way. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in... Our wandering emporium. Please, buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Please? Oh no, I feel bad for them. Yeah, I don't think I found this one. Did they sell anything I want? Poison stone clump. Throw it together to cause buildup of poison. Throw it enemies to cause buildup of poison. Throw it enemies to inflict damage and build up poison. They don't sell much that I want, I guess. <laughs> I want them to be able to eat. I'm gonna buy um I'm gonna buy a preserving bolus. Ah, uh, how nice, please. Bye. Hope that's enough for you to buy some food. I don't know from where. Looks like we have a structure up ahead. Kaled Waypoint Ruins. Oh no. It's not what I wanted, but I'll take it, I guess. so good at scurrying. Remember how terrifying those were when I got teleported to the um what was it? Celia Celia Crystal Tunnel? There's a cellar there.
They have so many hands. Look at those little grabbies. Oh. Yeah, look at those little grabbies. Go check out the cellar. Armament ahead, armament ahead. Rot ahead. They're smaller, whoa, they're smaller, weaker versions of the ones that we saw topside. They don't seem to be able to walk like the other ones can. They're smaller. Maybe they're just underdeveloped. Meteoric or blade? That sounds amazing. I'm a little bit short on strength. I'm just one short on strength, actually. But it is a pretty much equally strength and dex and then int. It causes blood loss? Ooh, oops. Gravitas, is it special and it can't be changed? It's a katana. Katana forged from meteoric ore to dispatch life forms born of falling stars deals magic damage. The blade is weighty, known to deliver slashes of such ferocity that the impact is said to resemble a crash of a falling meteor. Hmm. To dispatch life forms born of falling stars. I want to see what that thing looks like. Let's go check it out topside. Ooh, look at it. It's 
kind of it's kind of lumpy but very ornate oh yeah it said it was quite heavy weight 7.5 the other one has a weight of 6.5 that's not that bad Gravitas. I wonder if it does like secret bonus damage to certain enemies because of what it said about being used to dispatch life forms uh, born of the stars. What did it say? Dispatch life forms born of falling stars, yeah. I see another side of grace further down the road. Yeah, there's lots of sites of grace here. Kalid Highway South. I think these are all just pointing me... Yeah, they're just pointing me to Radon. Cemetery. There's probably a better word for this. Mausoleum, maybe? Nah, I think that needs a building. Be wary of strong foe. Oh? Precious item ahead. Try taking on all at once. <laughs> okay. All right. Is one of you going to turn into a bear? Try attacking and then and then be wary of strong foe. Hmm. Oh, it's got to be that one. They're different from the rest. Didn't expect giant sort. By the way, time for trap. Okay. see anything. Here. Um, just between the Caled Highway South and the Cathedral of Dragon Communion, there's a dragon. Try ranged battle. Yeah, it's not a particularly large one. Ooh, my stones would actually probably reach. Oh, it's a uh, oh, it's actually quite large. The king exikes. Yeah, those are not reaching. And it spews rot. Oh boy. Oh, 
Ah, those don't reach. Ah, oh no, 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 no. Ooh. Try ranged battle. I don't know. I've had much, much, much better luck with melee. With dragons. Every single one, I think. Well, it's super, super close. Yeah, it's just right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, wait, hold on. Flask of Wonder is Physic. And... Bolus. And... Uh, never mind. Trying to bait out a ranged attack. Here you go, Torrent. Yeah, good boy. There we go. Oh no. Uh. Yeah! Thirty-eight thousand runes and a dragon heart. Didn't expect weak foe. <laughs> yeah, haven't found dragons super challenging so far, honestly. Just using torrent and going in for their feet and their wings with melee? has worked really well for me. Let's level up. Ooh, I almost have enough for two levels. Let's put one more point into endurance, and then I think I should be pretty set as far as being able to carry multiple weapons without being heavily loaded. Hmm. Then I think I want a bit more health. I think that's it as far as, like, this whole area. It's hard to tell from the map because of how burnt and messed up it looks, but this area here is actually completely separated, and I think the only way to get to it is from, um, Celia. So we're starting from the Church of the Plague. Let's explore... It's a lot of skeleton dudes. I'm gonna try to ignore them. I don't think they're worth my time. I remember I ran up here. I think there was a ball that kept getting summoned. 
I just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything on my way up while I was running. I mean, it doesn't look like it. It's just a little switchback path. Oh god. <laughs> Who is summoning that? Or what is summoning that? I don't know. Is it something I can stop? Okay, let's continue up. Um, I think this right here is where the painting was taken from. <laughs> taken from, like it was a photograph. <laughs> where the painting was painted from. <laughs> Left required ahead. Visions of suffering horse? What? <gasps> oh! Oh, looking down at Radon and their poor, poor horse. Oh. Seriously, RIP to that horse. Hardest working horse in the entire world. Okay, obviously it wasn't taken from exactly here. Wait, is that the right pillar? Oh no, it's those pillars over there. Yeah, we got a ways to go. Oh, this is the one that would show you the War Dead Catacombs, which I am still not going to touch. Let there be enemy. Oh. Uh. Hey. Are you a special enemy? Not really. Look carefully, in short, down. Uh... Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, we were just down there. And there's nothing really there. Oh no, there's a message over there! Someone, someone did that. Still no underground tome, but seek surface. Mm. 
kind of want to do it, but no. No. What the hell? Oh my god, what are you? Item, but behold, a hidden, hidden path. I'll go check that in a sec. No dead end ahead. Seek hidden path. Are you serious? Oh my god! How are you supposed to spot that? That's uh, usually a hidden path is something kind of obvious, like ish. As long as you stop to take a look at it. Like bookcases in the Ray Lucaria that don't have books on them, or like a weirdly flat kind of dead end. But this one was just a bunch of rocks. Gotta upload all of these. Something incredible. Celia Hideaway. Shockingly weak. I hear those magic miners. Miss something, or there's a hidden path. Hidden path ahead. Yeah, that's a really good hidden path. Like, again, not obvious other than the fact that it's odd that the cave ends so soon and you can hear sound through it. Well, that has to be another one. They were a strong foe, one of them said. And I see bloodstains. Huh? I recognize that sound. I can't see it, though. Oh, uh, glowstone. That'll probably be thrown down there. Um, here we go. There we go. Yes. Oh, it's one of those things. The thing that I fought in, um, Liernia Lake and thought was a mini boss or something, but it turns out it was a normal enemy. <laughs> It's nice to finally have a use for glowstones. Yeah, I think I'm gonna arrange that. Oh! 
Oh no, right? They teleport. Oh, they can't fit through there. Oh, perfect. Is it cheesing them? Yes. Do I care? No. Fuck those things. Be wary of right. Ooh, Digger's staff. Staff of a sorcerer miner who extracts glintstone from crystal tunnels. The staff itself is a tool used to mine, and the ferrule is also embedded with a glintstone. Boosts the power of stone digger sorceries. Checked it out on the wiki. It looks like it boosts, um, what was it again? Uh, boosts stone digger sorceries by 20%. However, there's only two spells that actually fall under that. And neither of them are any good. Although, I should mention, actually, there's recently been the 1.4 patch for Elden Ring that did boost um, a lot of spells. It nerfed almost nothing. It only nerfed a couple things, but it boosted dozens and dozens of spells. So it's possible they're better now. But anyway, it still, I think, would only boost two spells. It's apparently just not great. It could be worth it for me to go and try old spells that I didn't like. I don't know if any of them have gotten boosted enough to make a huge difference. I don't know. Patch notes don't specify by how much they buffed things. I go down there I I can get back up from there using that crystal but if I go there I don't think I can so we go here first well oh, there's a lot of little pathways to go so there's down those crystals oh I hope I don't have to kill you I don't want to but if I'm trying to do platforming and you're shooting little ice balls at me, it's going to be real heckin' annoying. I do want to explore down there. Like, I want to throw light down there, but I guess there's no point just yet. Hey, friend. But there's more over here. Oh, there's... You can get up from the other side. Through there. There are so many different pathways. It's going to be really hard to make sure I don't miss anything here. Oh no, they're coming around the corner. Look at them. This is so cute. Oh. Puh. No, that wasn't a puh. That was a <laughs> Try down. Eh. Not yet. It's a steak. Ah, dung here again? Maybe someone who keeps respawning at the stake? Or does this... Like, could this lead to some place we've already been? I don't know. Could it link up to the... Celia Crystal Tunnel? We're kind of like almost halfway there. I suppose it could. Okay, this seems like a whole nother phase of this thing. I think this is where we continue deeper into it. 
And the fact that there's a stake of Marika makes me even think that stronger. So let's finish exploring back here. Is this going to force us to drop down somewhere we can't get up? Hey! It is. Let's let's have faith that it'll let us get back up. Monster ahead and then item ahead. That might be the monster we already killed from up above. The bloodstains would suggest yes. Stimulating boluses, golden rune, a lost ash of war. That loops around to here, drops where the snails were. Okay. Things are starting to link up. So this is probably just an alternate way down to the same place. Ah! Right, I jumped over the crystals. I didn't actually go this way. Sorcerer ahead. Oh, yeah. Seal can only be broken by a seal breaker. What? What's a seal breaker? I'm also on the lookout for any hidden pathways. I want to make sure I read the notes. Alright, so I need to come back here when I have a seal breaker, or when I've broken the seal anyway. Any other pathways? Yeah, over there. Secret passage ahead. You liar. Just want to quadruple check. Oh yeah, the 1.4 patch of Elden Ring, by the way, fixed um, a couple doors, a couple hidden pathways. So uh, I mentioned this offhand, but there were some things going around on Twitter about some hidden passageways that take multiple hits to open up. That was actually a bug and it's been fixed in this patch. So no doorway in the entire game should take more than one hit to open up. Don't need to worry about it. Why does it sound like gas is being released here? Weird. What is kind of a shame, though. A very, very, very minor one, but... What's a shame is that they didn't make it so that those doorways can be opened with one hit. They made it so those doorways can't be opened, because that was the bug. They weren't actually meant to be opened. Like, they were hidden pathways that the devs wanted to remove, and they messed up removing them, making it so they still could be removed with enough hits. So the patch makes it so you can't go in there anymore, so it effectively cut t a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of content. But I'm sure whatever was in there was probably not significant. Or if it was significant, they probably relocated it somewhere else or something like that. But it does make me wonder, what was in them? 
I'm sure I could find out if I just Google it, but I don't know offhand. What did you write? Item ahead. Oh? Where? <laughs> over there? I see one over there. Something incredible ahead. Ooh. They seem to be having a little bit of a meeting. Love that spell. So good against small groups. Crystallian ashes. Haven't seen the Crystallians in a while. Spirit that wields round crystalline blades. Both big and small, its sturdy body, itself hewn from crystal long ago, is hard enough to blunt its opponent's blades, but blows from bludgeoning weapons can shatter it easily. I see a boss wall over there. Pit. Ouchie. I think there's still an item to get. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You can just walk there. You don't need to jump there. You can just walk. I see some messages here. Is this a hidden path? Aha! Crystal Spear. Strength. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. It's a bit of a dex weapon and an int weapon as well. It does a very small amount of magic damage. Surprisingly small. Spear fashioned from pure crystal, a deed impossible for a human. Enwreathed with powerful magic, its attack scales with intelligence. The inscrutable Crystallians have but one clear purpose to safeguard their crystals unto the end. One theory posits that they yearn for the return of the creator who will carve for them new brethren. Aw. They just want new friends. Hmm. It's 
kind of ugly. Like, I don't, I'm not in love with the color of it. Like, if you look at this, it looks translucent. It, it's like a very light blue. I mean, it's a crystal, right? It looks like a crystal. It looks nicely translucent. It looks very pretty in the picture. It looks very delicate. But here, it just looks ugly. It doesn't look transparent at all. It's not light blue. It's more like a weird purple. Yeah, it's really ugly. It doesn't look fine. It doesn't look delicate. Let's head to the boss. Hello. Try striking trio ahead. Oh. Whoa, that did like no damage. Let me try that again. I figured rocks would be striking because they're rocks. No, that does like nothing. <laughs> Does magic do, like, anything? No, okay. Hold on. Hold, hold on. I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, my flail is striking. Even with striking, they're still quite tough. One down, that makes things a lot easier, because it's the range caster that's down. Now I can deal with this Scarlet Rot. Okay, you have a bit of a range thing. from Scarlet Rod. Oh.
think we got him. Whew. Yeah, that's a pretty tough fight. Ooh, a spell, Crystal Torrent. <sighs> I get so excited over new spells. Well done, thank you. Oh look, they're cheering me on. They just wanted to see what's going on. Ooh, Crystal Torrent takes 47 int. I accept the challenge. Creates crystal mass that fires stream of crystal shards. Interestingly, I can memorize this spell even if I supposedly can't use it. I'm wondering though, can I actually not use it? Because I know my base int is 40, but it's actually higher than that because of all the pluses I have, all the bonuses. I'm not sure how that works. So what is my int now? It's... Oh, it's only 43. Okay. Well, if I took a rune arc, I would have enough int to use it. Let's do that. And let's test it out. Hmm. Can I hold it down? Oh yeah, you can. Ah, no! Oh, I didn't look at how much FP it was taking. Does it take more when I charge it up? Oh, you can use it until your FP bar is gone. Ooh. I wonder how much damage it actually does. How efficient is it? That seems to do a fair amount of damage. I mean, that did just take up half my FP bar, but... That might be able to do some fast DPS. I want to test it on something bigger. You. What's the range, by the way? Hmm, not that far. You know, hold on a sec. I don't think I ever went to these ruins that are directly beneath me. No, it's not marked on the map. And I see something I can put a key in down there. <laughs> the hard part's going to be actually not getting interrupted. Yeah, oh. Not good against these enemies. No, no, no. Yeah, it's definitely not very efficient in terms of damage. What's down here? No boss ahead, but armament. Okay. Be wary of strong foe. I'm not falling for that. Sword of Saint Trina. Strength 
strength dex and int causes sleep buildup. That's different, and its special is Mists of Slumber. Silver sword carried by clerics of St. Trina inflicts sleep ailment upon foes. St. Trina is an enigmatic figure. Some say she is a comely young girl, others are sure he's a boy. The only certainty is that their appearance was as sudden as their disappearance. It's very pretty, very, very pretty small blade. Very pretty. Oh, that's really pretty too. Oh, does it buff the sword afterwards? Because it still has a particle like effect on it. Yeah, it lasts for a while. Actually, is it a buff or an attack? Or both, I guess. No, it's definitely both. Let's test it on you. Are you asleep yet? Oh, you are? Wait. No, you're not. Wait, are you? Oh, it is asleep! It fell asleep! Oh, baby! You got the sleepies. It's still affected by sleep. I do not know how sleep works. Oh, that is so cool. I think it, it like kind of looks like it yawns. The damage is of course terrible because it's not upgraded. What was that? Oh, are you sleepy? Oh, you're sleepy. I think I might want to upgrade that. I'm going to read how sleep works in the wiki. Let's try Crystal Torrent out on a giant. Something that can really soak the damage. Okay, that's actually fantastic. Yeah, it has a long lead-up time to casting it, um, but just the fact that it... It's inefficient, but it does a lot in a small amount of time. So for a large enemy that's going to get hit by all of that, like a giant, for a single large-ish enemy, maybe even a small one would be fine, honestly, just as long as you have enough time to actually get a significant amount of shots into it, it can do a lot of damage in a short amount of time and break their poise. It's definitely bad against multiple targets, because I just realized you cannot switch targets mid-shoot. I mean, you can you can target someone else mid-shoot, but it continues to target the original person. So you can't just use it to, like, machine gun down a whole group. Not going to work for that. 
So it's good against single strong targets that are relatively slow, I think. We want to do a lot of damage in a small amount of time and hopefully break their poise. Definitely a very specialized kind of spell. Not one that I'm going to like spend all my points in int right away to get that because I have to use it. It's very specialized, but I think it might be useful at some point. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to continue from Celia Hideaway and explore this area of Kaled. <laughs>